So what we're going to be doing today is adding data to our chatbot in the Azure AI Studio. So before you get going, make sure you check out my other video over here. And what we're going to be doing today is adding some PDF documents to our chatbot and ultimately deploying that and testing it out to see that it works. If you enjoy this video, like, subscribe, share it along, and let's get going. Okay, so what we want to do now is uh, log into our project. Uh, if you haven't already set up your Azure AI Studio correctly, um, please do that now. Have a look at my previous video and um, the links will be in the description. Um, what we're going to do now is uh, select our project and um, on the left hand side you'll see a menu pop up. So what we want to do now is go to the project playground and select chat. All right, so once we're in the chat space over here, we can see that our deployed model is the 3.5 Turbo, which we did in the previous video. So what we want to do is have a look and see if it works. So let's just type in a quick command over here just to make sure everything's working as we expect. All right, so hello, how can I assist you today? That means the model is working. Right, what we want to do now is um, ultimately start adding data. So we can pop in a system message, um, but what we want to do is add data. So if you've already created data in an index, you can select it, but we're going to just go add new data source. All right, there's um, a number of um, different options that you can use, but I'm going to just do the upload files as the uh, sample for today. All right, you can click on overwrite if it already exists. And let's hit the upload button. All right, so we've got a number of uh, file types that we can select from. It's PDFs, documents, uh, PowerPoints, etc. And um, yeah, it basically just uses structured and unstructured data. And um, what we're going to do now is let's just select our executive AI guide. And um, it's going to upload. And it's around 5 megs. All right, what we can see at the bottom over here, it needs to have an Azure AI search resource allocated. So we're going to create that next. All right, so if you've already got an Azure uh, res uh, search service created, go there. But otherwise, we're going to just create a new resource. All right, so what we're going to do now is... Um, check uh, so what i'm going to do now is just make sure that our subscription is selected and um, select our resource group if we've already gotten a resource group you can uh, select it otherwise you can create a new one really simple all right we're just going to call this ai search service um something that makes sense for us so i'm going to call it uh, td which is tyron um rag which stands for retrieval augmented generation and we're going to call it the tie to we just select the location and what we want to do now is choose a pricing tier um, so i'm just going to go with the basic one the free one doesn't seem to work so if you do select that one um, it doesn't work um, as well as it could so if basic it at least gives you a bit of um, a bit more powerful um, server um, processing power in the back end uh, but that's basically what it's going to cost you if you had to hammer it um, but for testing purposes, you shouldn't get to that stage. All right, so next is uh, we can click on the scale. And um, this is really about understanding if you need service level agreements or if you wanted to add distributed workloads, etc. Uh, so you can slide this, um, uh, the thing over to see what the pricing would be for that, um, that balancing. But we'll just keep it as one for now. And the number of pod sessions will leave as one as well. And let's hit networking. Right, what we're going to do is keep it as a uh, public. Um, you're free to change it to private if you'd like. Uh, but because this is just a demo, I'm just going to leave it as public. Um, we can just click that and then click Next Tags. All right, we won't put in anything for the time being. We can hit Next for review. All right, so this is what it's going to create for us. It's going to create a resource group and it's going to create the search uh, service. Um, so it's going to be called TD Rag Type 2 inside the RG resource group. All right, so once the um, once you've clicked create, it's going to deploy the, um, the search service. And you'll see over here with a little tick mark. All right, so let's go to go to resource. And this will basically show you the status of it. So make sure that it is running. If it isn't running, go back and check some of your steps. Um, but basically, this is a space where you can just double check what, um, um, what's in here, what's in the resource group. 
but we're going to add a tag. So let's click on the add tags and let's call it my documents underscore AI exec. And we'll just pop in a value over here. And we'll just call it exec AI. All right. So that's all good. And what we can do now is go back to our add data. Let's go and select our uh, connect to other Azure AI services. Scroll down until we find our newly created one, which is the rag tie two, which is that one over there. Let's click on add a connection. And uh, what it's going to do now is it's going to create an index name called loving ocean. Okay. All right. So we can select a virtual machine. I'm just going to select the cheapest one over here. So let's just select the, uh, the standard one. Let's hit next. Um, you can add vectoring or not, but I found success without adding vectoring. So let's just take, take it off. And this is just a summary of what it's going to do. All right. Hit create. All right. So what it's going to do now is it's going to create the index in the background. And um, from what I've seen, it takes around 30 minutes to create the index in the fine tuned model. All right, so it's starting step one of three, two of three, three of three. And um, yeah, it does take a little bit of time, so um, just bear with it. All right, let's move on to step two and step three. All right, once that's done, it's going to come up with this thing over here. How do you add your data? It's going to show your data source, the index and the search type. All right, so we're going to basically select the search type. Um, to whatever you feel, um, but let's just keep it as a semantic for now. All right, so you can click on the semantic and you can go and have a look at what these things mean. All right, so there is some documentation and um, I won't go through all of this documentation over here, but it's basically just telling you how it works. All right, so let's click on advanced settings. All right, so for strictness, we want to keep it around about a three. Um, or maybe even a two. So if it doesn't have um, an answer, it won't just uh, die on you. So if you, what you'll notice is when you start testing it, it won't actually even give you a response if it can't find it. So set the strictness a bit lower um, and then retrieve documents. Um, just depending on the number of documents you have, it's uh, basically going to pull that into, into memory and into your indexing. All right. So again, have a look at what type of data you want to pull in, how many documents you have. So let's click on the system message here and modify our system message. So you're an AI assistant and uh, just let's add the word using data. So let's test it out. So hello and here's our response. All right. So what is in my AI blueprint? OK, so this is my uh, document that I've just added with the index. And um, here's the answer that it's come out with. All right. So what you can see over here is there are um, a number of citations and references. And um, let's just add a little bit more detail here. So let's just go provide steps in a list format. And let's hit enter. All right, so what it's done now in the background is it's obviously looked at the index, it's gone through the RAG process, and it's basically pulled out the steps in a list view um, based on my PDF document. All right, so that's already pretty cool. And um, what um, we've basically got over here is a working RAG application on a chat bot that you can work with, right? So you can click on the references, and if you click on the references and you just open them up, you'll see exactly where it's getting the data from and the citations. So really helpful, really useful um, piece of work. And um, yeah, so we've um, so I've basically got a couple of indexes running and um, working through those at the moment. So if you want to deploy the web app now, all you need to do is click on the deploy web app, click on launch and ultimately make sure that your data and your indexes are available. All right, so you can remove them, you can add more indexes, and um, I've just used the index uh, called Keenfoot over here. But yeah, so I think that's um, pretty much what I wanted to show you today. If you like this video, uh, subscribe and share it along. Thank you for watching.